Uh, like I said, I'm a board member. I'm um, also a person in the U.S. state, but probably not a people because from my childhood, when I went to do my degree, I did it in the U.S. state. It's called Lad Economy, it's in the university. And from there, I went to housing and worked in the Ministry of How, now it's called Infrastructure Transport, in, many, in housing. And I've always pursued this real estate sector. So I feel so good when I'm among my people who I know. The, the word new estate always brings something in anybody's mind. Uh, for, for people who come from my community, you feel you have struck gold when you have that piece of land or when you have uh, a house or what. So all of us are in the right place and this is where we live on. Now, like I said, uh, the board, the estate registration board, one, let me thank the officials and the chairman who approached our offices. And uh, we are glad that somehow now people have started seeing us. I've been given that work uh, as, a, as the convener, the board member who convinced the publicity, so that we all know there is a registration board. And it is better off when you are in there. And uh, obviously what I'll speak here is just very narrow. but. It is just to entice you to know that it is so, so important to be a registered member. Now, I'll go straight away to the uh, application process. And when you are applying to be a member in the board, you just uh, get an application form. You can come for it uh, in, our, in our office at Survey of Kenya. Alternatively, you can get it on our website. It is just a simple form like this, but it's quite detailed. So I'll be giving out the form uh, shortly, just after my, after my presentation. And in the form, there are various requirements that we require for you to be able to, uh, to, to register. First of all, we just need uh, copies of your academic certificate. Any, we are not saying that you must have a degree. Even the form fours can be registered. So any, any academic uh, certificate that you have, academic, you just attach to that application form after you have filled it, this one. Once you have done the interview, you are going to get a communication again from the secretariat that you have gone through the interview or you have not gone through the interview. And for those who don't go through the interview, it is not the end of the road. We always say that we, we have advised. Maybe there are some trainings that we have uh, indicated that you can be able to do. Maybe there is uh, not enough experience, okay? So we'll tell you how to go about it until you, you are registered with us. The office is just a system. And uh, for the system to run, it needs fuel, yeah? Like maybe the system for, uh, for the car. So and that's fuel is coming from the members. So if you can join us together, it should not be like what the office will provide, but you as a member you should be saying what can I help for that for the association. Yeah, so uh, I don't want to talk much. I think that uh, most of the officials and uh, members here have talked a lot uh, and touched everything which we were supposed to talk about. So in future, you know, if we can have a big, okay, this can be a, a, the next organization, yeah? whereby we can be having project as, a, as an association where each and every person will benefit let us know you say that it should not be like okay we are learning in the knowledge just yes, everyone later on we need to have money still yeah so even future we have maybe five thousand people maybe ten thousand people can train if we come up with an organization as an association if we own a building as an association when, when somebody uh, maybe have a deal in Nairobi, they don't have to come all the way to Nairobi. The office can also handle that. Senior. But that one can happen once we have grown. And that one will happen for me, you, and you, and each other. Senior. We need to work together. We need to bond. We need to be a team. Those are the things we need to do. 